What's up guys, it's Cody with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be going over wiring up a uh, dual voice coil subwoofer. So down here on the table we have a 2 ohm dual voice coil subwoofer and we have a 4 ohm uh, dual voice coil subwoofer. Uh, we're going to start off with our 2 ohm one here. So we have a voltmeter on the side and just to get kind of like a base and, and look at it, we're going to hook this up real quick. And as you can see on the voltmeter, it's reading uh, 2.6. It's it's common with uh, cheaper voltmeters like this one right here to see a little bit of a higher uh, reading just because there's a little extra resistance within the system itself. So 2.5, as you can see, we're kind of getting about a 0.5 extra reading. So we can kind of uh, do the math on that as we go. This again is a uh, dual voice coil two ohm. So we're gonna start off wiring this in series. Uh, series is really easy. You're just gonna take your negative right here and bring it over to your positive on this side. And then, you know, theoretically, if this was wiring up to an amp, you would then take your positive from here and your negative from here and take those out. But since we just wanna measure the ohm load now, we're just gonna hook these into these sides here and then we're gonna flip it back over so we don't have any pressure on the woofer itself. And as you can see, we now have taken this uh, dual voice coil two ohm to a four ohm load. And that's how you would uh, wire that in series. As you can see, we'll flip it over one more time just to get a look. You're gonna take your negative terminal to your, uh, or sorry, positive terminal to your negative terminal on the opposing side and then just take negative and positive out to your amplifier. So. Parallel, we're going to take negative to negative, positive to positive, and then just slide these in here. I don't, it doesn't really matter which, you know, negative or positive on the voltmeter at least. Obviously on your amplifier that would matter very much, so don't do that, but with a voltmeter, no big deal. Flip it back over and as you can see now we have a 1.7, 1.8. Uh, so we're at one ohm, a little bit of extra uh, resistance within the system. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of leveling out here a little bit. So that is a dual voice coil two ohm with a parallel uh, wiring structure. As you can see, we'll go over it one more time, just negative to negative, positive to positive, and then opposing terminals out to your amplifier. Okay, so now we're gonna jump over to a dual voice coil four ohm subwoofer. Um, while the wiring configurations with parallel and series will remain the same, the ohm load at the end will change. So we're gonna go over that with a four ohm load to start to show you how those wiring configurations will adjust a dual voice coil four ohm subwoofer at the end. So just like we did the last one, we're gonna start off just getting like a base read here, popping these in and uh, as you can see, as it kind of levels out, you're at 4.6, 4.5. So that same kind of 0.4 to 0.6 uh, variance that we saw in the other woofer test. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug these. Just like the last one, we're gonna start off by wiring this in series. So we're gonna go our uh, negative right here over to our positive right here. And then just, uh, up. So we're going to take this one over here just so it's a little easier and doesn't get tangled up. doesn't matter again which one of these are, but it does with your system, so you know, don't do that with your system. And now as you see, we have a nice flat 8 ohm reading. So whatever you take a woofer from uh, 4 ohms in series, you're going to double that ohm load. So you took your 4 ohm dual voice coil to an 8 ohm load final. Uh, this one, not very practical. You don't see a lot of 8 ohm uh, amplifiers or, eight, or anything like that, but just in case you wanted to do that, in case you wanted to get saucy and figure it out, you could. And we're gonna switch our uh, negative over. So now we have negative to negative on opposing sides, and then we need positive to positive on opposing sides, and then you can just pop these back in. And flip the whole shebang right on its, on its bottom in. 
And as you can see, we are now at 2.6. So if you take off your 0.4 to 0.6 variance there that we saw, you're at a two ohm load. So this is a dual voice coil, four ohm subwoofer wired in parallel is gonna give you a uh, two ohm load to finish. A good way to remember it is that series is gonna double your uh, start ohm load and parallel is going to half it. So dual voice coil uh, four ohm is gonna go to eight or two, while with a two is gonna go to uh, four or one. So I hope this video was informative for you guys. Uh, if you check out any of our subwoofers on Sonic Electronics, you will be able to view some pretty extensive wiring guides within the product page itself. We'll put up a little screencast here of how you would get to those whenever you land on our site and start looking around. But uh, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.